What we want to look at now is another way to use data in your tests. So we've looked at how to do test data and how to create uh, random data. We're now going to look at how to use your environment to set up environment variables you can use in your test. And this might typically be things like usernames and passwords that are specific to an environment. So if we come to the environments, and we've already set up previously our stage UAT in production here, we can see that the production is the default. So here what I'm going to do, I've already got one variable, which is the URL set up here. But what I'm going to do now is create another variable, which is username. And I'm going to put in there james.b at test.com. So that's my username. So let's create that variable. So now I've got a username environment variable for my production environment. Then let's create another one, which is password. And you can define these exactly as you want. And let's put in my password. So here is my password. There we go. Now, because it's a password and I don't want anyone else to know it, then I can mark this as sensitive. So when I create the variable there, I've now got the password, which nobody else can see. Even if I try and edit that, then you can't see it, but I can store that in, in my environment. Now I could do the same thing as my, in my other environments as well, create my usernames and passwords. But here I'm going to set it up. So now I've got a username and password variable. Now you could set up more in here and you could actually drive uh, based on if there are differences in the data within environments, then you could create variables here to drive those. So now that we've done that, let's go back to the project dashboard and let's create a new goal against, again, our rocketshop.virtuoso.qa and let's call this uh, environment, if I can spell, there we go, environment variable goal. And when we create that, then of course we see again the um, journey is created with the first step to navigate to the site and that's run with the live authoring. So now let's call this environment variables. There we go. Now here what I want to do, now the username and password in this case is within the user profile. Now I don't know what that's called, so remember we can go to the advanced mode, we can then inspect, and we can see that that's called user profile. So then I could say uh, click user profile, which will then go ahead and click on. And again, remember on any of these steps, you can always just go and look at the screenshot and check that you interacted with the correct element. And if we just come back, then we can see now that we have a username and password field. And let's just put in a wait for the login, just so that when that page reloads, when we run it, then we can um, uh, know that we'll wait for an element to load before we continue writing the steps. So now let's go ahead and let's write dollar username in username. And what this is going to do is it's going to look and see, there we go, it's going to take from the environment. Remember, we put it in the default environment, which was production. It's going to look in the environment variables and populate that in the username field. Equally, if I come across and write, and we could say password in the password field, then it will do the same thing again. It's going to pull in from those environment variables. So then I could write these in. Now, the great thing here, of course, is because I've just defined variables here, if I had have set this up against different environments, when I execute advanced, I could choose a different environment. I'm doing it in production, but I could do UAT or stage. If I'd also set those environments up in UAT and staging environment, then those variables are, of course, going to pull from that specific environment. So that's just showing how we can set up environment variables. And you can see here, those are shown also if we click in the step details on the side effects that shows the value, the passwords redacted because we marked it as sensitive. So you can use environment variables to data drive your tests as well.